The Gospel for Saturday of the 21st week in Ordinary Time is taken from Matthew, 25th chapter, 14th to the 30th verse. Jesus told his disciples this parable. A man going on a journey called in his servants and entrusted his possessions to them. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to a third one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Immediately the one who received five talents went and traded with them and made another five. Likewise, the other one received two and made another two. But the man who received one went off and dug a hole in the ground and buried his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants came back and settled accounts with them. The one who had received five talents came forward, bringing the additional five. He said, Master, you gave me five talents. See, I've made five more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who received two talents also came forward and said, Master, you gave me two talents. See, I have made two more. His master said to him, Well done, my good and faithful servant. Since you were faithful in small matters, I will give you great responsibilities. Come, share your master's joy. Then the one who received the one talent came forward and said, Master, I knew you were a demanding person, harvesting where you do not plant and gathering where you do not scatter. So out of fear, I went off and buried your talent in the ground. Here it is back. His master said to him in reply, You wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvest where I do not plant and gather where I do not scatter. Should you not then have put my money in the bank so I could have it back with interest on my return? Now then, Take the talent from him and give it to the one with ten. For to everyone who has, more will be given and will grow rich. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And throw this useless servant into the darkness outside where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Jesus makes clear that the kingdom of heaven that he is talking to his disciples about is about God giving something to human beings and their being the instruments of that being shared with others. And what is interesting is when he gives a great deal to one, let's say a talent, even though talent means a coin, But if he gives great ability to one with much less given to the next and even less to the next, then it's clear that there's something about having many gifts that encourage someone to share them. But if he even gives someone just a little gift, it is equally essential to him that they give it and not bury it. Whatever God has called us to do to become is absolutely important. And the big obstacle is fear. Fear, it's not important. It's not enough.
noticing prayer. Father, how can we imagine that the little that we do, the thoughts that we have, have such enormous power? Help us to realize the gift that you have given us in our humanity. And help us to understand that when you fill it with a gift, we need to share it. We need to use it. Because that's why we're here. That's the reason God has created us on this planet, so that we can continue together to use the gifts we have to build up the kingdom of God, a world of peace and reconciliation and compassion. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.